Hello everyone, so I'm going to do a prototype build of the new Hummer catapult glider. So it's got a 9 inch span, 9 inch flat span, and something less than that, probably like 8.5 when it's got the hydral. I'm going to do the basic version, so this is the version that, like, that I would sell to schools for school kids to make or, you know, that you can buy and make 10 of them and your grandchildren and you can go out and shoot them and lose them and break them and it doesn't really matter too much because they go together fast. So what you get in the kit is obviously a fuselage. I try to make this from a fairly hard stock. Um, this is just a 116 sheet wing also made out of a stiffer stock to be a little bit more durable. Um, stab and fin and then this little guy which is like a set of jigs so I'll start by making the jigs shouldn't take too long uh, so and I'll use these on the fancier version of my jet cat as well which will be in another video so pop that out of there and so the idea here is that with these jigs you should be able to assemble it you know, one or more gliders accurately and have them all be pretty much exactly the same. Uh, now this is a prototype build. I haven't actually done this yet so I don't even know if this is going to work. I might discover something that is uh, horribly wrong. In which case I will tell you all about it. Okay. This is the first time I'm doing a build video. I hope to do more of these in the future. Um, it's one of these things you sort of don't know how it's going to go, right? It could be like watching paint dry. On the other hand, it could be pretty useful and instructive, especially for folks who haven't been building very long. I've been building since I was a wee nipper. I uh, must have been, I don't know, jeepers, eight or nine, maybe ten years old when I was starting to build. I've been building plastic, well, I don't build plastic models anymore, but I started with plastic models when I was basically from the moment I could manipulate a, a tool I was putting together plastic models so that's how I got my start um, and then I graduated to things actually kind of like this um, small balsa chuck lighters that I would build and throw in the garden I always liked the ones that were sort of semi-scale models so like a Chuck Glider, Mustang, or Spitfire, things like that. Those are the first models I actually ever made fly. Um, in the sense that they glided across the garden when I threw them. Tried a bunch of stick and tissue, but wasn't very successful because they were a bit above my skill level. Okay, so what I'm going to do now... So there's different things here. So these two guys here, these are a couple of cradles they slot into these cradle bases Whoop, and I already broke one I'll have to fix it you have to watch out because of the grain direction they're kind of fragile I did that on purpose because I want once they glue to the base they're strong but when they before they get there they're not going to be strong so that would be one and this will be the other oops I'll have to put some thin CA on that to get it all to go together. Hopefully I don't glue it to the glass. So this will be a cradle that I set the fuselage into. And I'll also use this larger one here to help me glue the wing square to the fuselage. One of the things you may not know about uh, laser cutting is that the actual cut surface is not square to the balsa wood surface because the cut is, if you were to cut like a single hole into uh, balsa wood or anything actually with a laser, it's actually cone shaped. Um, so that means that you can almost see it here, yeah I can see it, so that this dimension here is slightly narrower than the equivalent dimension on the other side. Uh, which means that there's a slight slant on this surface here. And so you really want something to, to help you make sure that that is glued on square. Uh, Another way around it is to try, you know, is to sand this off, but I'm not going to do that because that'll take extra time. I'm trying to move 
hopefully fairly quickly here. These two jigs are going to be for dihedral. So I'm going to set that in there. And this one in there. Okay, that looks good. So I'll use those for dihedral, and they're going to serve the dual purpose of also being a center of gravity tester. So I'm just going to grab a little bit of medium CA here, run it along these joints. I'm not going to stress too much about making really good quality joints here. They just need to be good enough to hold together. It'll soak in a bit. Probably last for years. Okay, do this one, make sure it's on the base, so yeah, I can feel a little bit of stick, so it's actually soaked into the joint, so that's going to be so the tip of the wing will sit here like that when I'm doing dihedral with the main panel flat on the on the glass. Usually I build chuck gliders on glass or, or tip launch gliders, any kind of glider I build on glass because it's perfectly flat and the glass makes a nice convenient hard edge that you can use to uh, for example sand in the the angle from the from the high point of the airfoil to the trailing edge or for beveling stabs and fins nicely the edge of the glass provides a nice hard edge that doesn't sand away when you uh, apply the sandpaper to it so that's that one in this is the one I think I broke so I'm gonna be extra careful with him Kind of like that. Who's that guy that does the uh, the painting while you watch? I need to develop his uh, voice. You know that very soft, soft-spoken kind of soothing voice that makes you want to either get inspired to go paint something or you just sit there and he lulls you to sleep. Hopefully I don't lull you to sleep. Okay, so that real quick and dirty on my jigs. These little guys are going to be for the CG -er part. So when I'm doing CG, I'll glue these in.